The day starts with the bell ringing at 8 o'clock. There's a big joke on camp. How many times does the bell actually ring? It feels like 100 at 8 o'clock in the morning after you've had a long, fun day at camp. The sun is, has risen, but it's still kind of that post-sunrise glow, and you can look out over the mountain, and it's gorgeous. It's awesome to just wake up in such a beautiful place in the mountains, and coming down to Reflect to get your little inspiration to get your day going, is, it's always awesome to start your day with Reflect. It really like motivates you to have like a good day. Today we're going to start off by going to archery, shooting a few bows, and then we're going to head to cooking. Here we're going to use the pizza oven. Then we're going to head to uh, the zip line and crow's nest. And then we're going to have some fun at the lake on the blob and wet willy. Then we're going to finish off the day with some uh, land sports and playing uh, anything goes ball. And tonight we're going to finish it up by uh, having a camp out, out on the mountain. Well, I think the activities we have, we have uh, 37 here on camp and off camp. We have uh, art, we have uh, waterfront, we have sport, we have uh, horses, and all these activities give a person a well-rounded opportunity to do all kinds of activities here at camp. First up, we're off to pottery. Pottery is a lot of fun. The girls really love going to pottery because they can get their hands dirty, they show off a little bit of their creativity, and they all have fun with it because each individual person gets to do their own little project. We had a really great time in pottery, actually. Um, I loved it because I was with my friends and we were laughing the whole time and we were telling jokes and stuff. And we made monsters and they were so funny. <laughs> Our tree was really cool and because my, one of my friends hit a bullseye and, oh <laughs> and it was like impressive. Uh, when somebody does good in anything, we give them high fives, fist pumps, we just cheer them on to make them excited, like how they'll be excited at home when their mom and dad saying good job, good job. And then, but if like they do bad, we still say, you got it next time. Don't worry, you got it. See you next time. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye guys, have a good rest of the day. See. All right, cabin The cabin unit is our 10 campers and two staff members who travel around as a camp, little family at camp each day to participate in all the activities and adventures at Camp Islander. You know, we always say you get to Hounder and you're part of your cabin unit immediately and you think, mm, yeah, well, but it's true. Going to every activity with the same group of people and you'll get to split apart a couple times in the session, but ultimately everything that you experience is with the same group of people, so you can't help but become a family at Camp Islander. Cabin counselors and activity staff here at camp are very different in terms of their role, but also a lot of times in terms of their personality and skill set. Every year we get so blessed by the fact that that team of young adults comes together like they've known each other all of their lives and in most instances they've never laid eyes on each other. So I would say that all the due diligence we do putting this team together, we always seem to be rewarded in that they, dr they draw together, they come together as an absolute family unit and they've got each other's back, which is so attractive to us and of course so attractive to the safety uh, and, and the smooth sailing of a summer at Camp Highlander. These guys are about to go to cooking for the first time and I'm really excited to see how it goes. They were just a ball of energy. They were so enthusiastic and they got their hands all into it. They, they enjoy it more than anything. Like we separated into two teams of five and we, we did like super cheesy and half pepperoni and it was so good. Like we did everything. All she did was put the dough out in the thing. She just told us what to do and we just did it. And the pizza oven was really cool because when you went there, all the heat came to your face. After we do that, we put it down, cut it, just stuff our faces. Moving on to canoeing. Coming up to canoeing, you get suited up and get your paddles and PFDs and head out to the boats and get to get in the water. We walked them over to the island, went over some paddle instruction, made sure they were using their paddling box and you know, taught them forward, reverse, prize and draws in the canoes. Put their canoes in the water, we went in the middle and uh, just went over some basic stuff. Did a couple laps around the island and after that we did a little bit of penguin sliding. Bye. 
So mealtimes at Camp Highlander are done family style uh, with your cabins. When we do grace, it's always a lot of fun because everyone's clapping together. Family of 11, pass the, pass the, pass the, can you pass the? You know, we're calling out tables in the middle of lunch, getting them to dance. Uh, the food is spectacular. Like the other camp I went to, the food was pretty good, but this is like amazing. hike that we went um, was totally worth it. The, it was huge. Oh my gosh, I can't even explain it. It was beautiful. All the girls have a lot of fun, even though it is a little bit of a hike up to Waterfall. Well, we have a guy, her name's Lindsay, and she's really nice, and she helps us, um, she's in the front line to help us um, go on the right trail and keep us on track and stuff. So we call it the crow's nest, um, and we call the people that work at the crow's nest the pirates, um, because it, it has the feel of, of climbing up into uh, an old pirate ship. It's got nets everywhere and ropes everywhere. That thing is like so incredible. And there's this thing called the swing. When you swing off one of the platforms, and you like, and then like you go through the air and you try and ring a bell, and it's so much fun. It, I think it's so cool that we have the zip line right next to it. So sometimes kids can get off the crow's nest by going down the zip line. And you're just gliding through the air. It felt like I was flying. So Rainbow Falls in Gorgeous State Park is probably one of the most beautiful waterfalls, but also one of the most fun and exciting swimming holes that we have. You know, not only do you have a great, beautiful waterfall, but then also you throw into the mix that here you've got this really cool swimming hole. It's, it's like a great water slide, natural water slide, going into this luscious lagoon of crystal clear mountain spring water, so. Today, Cabin 11 went on a day hike to Rainbow Falls. They had a blast. That's just one of the trips that we take. We go to the Nantahala River to go whitewater rafting. We'll do canoeing overnights um, at some of the rivers nearby. We do some climbing overnights in the area and take our campers into Pisgah National Forest or to DuPont. There's so many off-camp adventures that our campers get to enjoy while they're here at camp and they get to see all the beautiful nature that surrounds this wonderful mountain we call Camp Highlander. The blob. The blob is like a giant pillow. The blob is one of the most fun things we do here. You put your hands on your back, and then someone jumps on it, and you go high in the air, and then go into the water. And it's really fun, because, because if someone heavy blobs you, you go like, woo! When you go on the blob, you also do the wet willy. Uh, so we were playing anything goes ball. The rules are simple, anything goes. You make contact with the ball and you run. It's like a, a baseball, but, but a lot funner and it's like a lot more active. Um, it's a really fun game, it's interesting. It's different than baseball, but the kids still get to feel like they're um, you know, playing a, a competitive sport and there's stuff that everyone can do in the outfield and the infield and stuff because it's so you know, non-traditional. Camp for me is about unlimited opportunities and experiences um, to do things they've never done and, and to um, explore, create, and uh, make lasting relationships. I started off, I think, when I was about nine years old, and my first counselors were Mac and Nixon, kind of like Camp Islander legends. I was in the same cabin with about six guys for probably about five years and now we're all kind of counselors together. Some are CITs, some are junior counselors with me. I can't remember a summer I didn't spend at camp, actually, which is kind of weird. Uh, I learned a lot, learned how to behave myself, learned a lot of manners from Gaynell and Carl and all of them, learned how to shake a hand here. We like to say that Camp Highlander is a place like no other, and to me, 
Um, I feel like the memories that are made, the infinite friendships that a camper goes home with, um, just who they are, what, what they are capable of accomplishing, what, what their strengths are, maybe what their weaknesses are, but they learn these things and they go home a stronger person. Here they can be themselves, try new things, and you know what, if they don't, if they don't do well, that's no problem. You know, we always tell them, you know, that, that, you know, falling down is part of life, but getting up, that's living. And that's what they get a chance to do when they come to camp. They get a chance to experience life as it should be, and that's just being a positive contributor to the camp community. Evenings at Camp Highlander are always fun and memorable and always meant to bring the cabin closer together. Whether you're going to a square dance and enjoying the fun of dancing with people and making memories and then going back to the cabin to talk about what your favorite memory was, or maybe you're just having an overnight up in the meadows, bonding around a campfire, roasting marshmallows, and really getting to know your friends better. Those evenings are all what bring the cabin closer together and make the camp experience so memorable. So our square dances every Tuesday night is one of the wildest, most unique, most sweaty, and just crazy evening programs that we're very well known for. Square dance is my ultimate favorite thing EP at camp. Square dance is really fun because you get to just hang out with your friends and like you get to dance and stuff, and but you get really sweaty. It was one of the only nights where we as a cabin are with each other. There's no evening program, there's no other cabins, it's just us. We brought sticks, Hers um, Hershey's chocolate, graham crackers and marshmallows up there and so we had to get the campfire big enough and some people brought cards so we played different card games. You like tell stories or whatever you want, you talk and then you go to sleep. I had so much fun today. Today was the best. This was an awesome day. This is Camp Islander. Every day is an adventure. At the end of each day of camp, everyone is exhausted. Tired because they've just had more fun than they ever thought possible. They stretched themselves more than they thought they could. And they've learned something that they didn't even know they needed to know. Um, it's a really great feeling each night when you lay your head on your pillow and you know, I gave my best today. And that's all we expect of our campers. But the anticipation of what comes tomorrow is even better. Each morning at Reflect, we end with a saying that our campers recite with us. Make today better than yesterday, as good as you hope tomorrow will be, with courage, honesty, integrity, and faith as you live the Highlander Creed. And that's what we want for our kids, that even though today was awesome, it was fantastic, it couldn't be better. Each day we strive for more. We want more for our campers, more for our staff, and more for our camp family. So tomorrow is gonna be even better. <laughs>